this is Gloria of AllThingsDigitalMarketing.com and Examiner.com. And I am so excited to be standing here on the rainbow carpet. I'm here to cover the 11th annual Work Life Matters Gala honoring top companies for LGBT equality. So join me as I cover the rainbow carpet. More and more companies are becoming more engaged in terms of providing uh, benefits and services and support for the LGBT employee. They've really upgraded their um, programs and services and support in a number of ways, including particularly transgender uh, surgery benefits. Our whole business model is based on giving women everywhere and families everywhere an opportunity to earn and we don't discriminate in any way. We welcome everyone. We really believe that diversity is what makes the world go round. It's been quite a waste of education to get our firm to where it is and we have both worked very hard on that and we're really pleased and excited and honored by this recognition. From the corporations that really believe in equality, diversity and why it matters, uh, to just continue to really make the world a better place, you know, and, and, and the challenge right now is how do we keep this going and not let the momentum stop. We now have a special project at the Ackerman Institute for the Family for families with a gender variant child or a gender non-conforming child. There are very few places in New York City that are actually creating resources for families to think about these issues and for their children to come. We go around the country with an exhibition, a performance, and a lecture, and we uh, focus on bullying and bigotry. And the current exhibit is called The Fluidity of Gender. Well, first of all, it was great to see all these big names here, like MetLife and Morgan Stanley and CVS, actually supporting like openly LGBT you know, rights. Whether it be gay, whether it be straight, whether it be gay and straight, that there's nothing that's stopping us from doing um, that kind of work. That they contribute just as much to the world and the workplace as anybody else does, and that you should look at people for what they bring to the table in terms of integrity and their values and their work product as opposed to the campness of the thing associated with their sexuality. You know, I just think it's a, uh, it's a great way to just keep progress going and supporting the LGBT community. You know, obviously with the show that I'm involved with, you know, it's a direct factor in that in the community as well. And I'm excited to be able to come to the events as well. LGBT is such an important issue in today's society. And this show just brings to the forefront um, a very interesting dimension of the LGBT community, which is um, just about being a human being and not necessarily about being LGBT, but just being a human being. You reward companies who treat people right and correctly and fairly, and so you, you get everyone sort of thinking in the same way. So I just think that, you know, what Lori's doing is amazing. I think it's just fantastic, first of all, from um, a straight perspective, and, and the one lead of the show who um, is a straight character, I, I think what, what this does is so much bigger than, you know, the gay straight community. It's a worldwide type of thing. Sisters Plots is a great mix of, of all rainbow cast and crew. It's an amazing mix and it's a great family and we're really proud. Like, coming here tonight, it makes us even more proud of what we've been doing to include everyone in our cast and crew. I'm very honored to be here because uh, being an artist that works all around the world, I have a chance to work with so many kinds of people and I think it's very important to take time to celebrate and recognize uh, companies that do good things. It's truly brilliant. I think it's actually uh, really beneficial on their part to, to, to do this because you know it's so much more profitable for them. I think it's, 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 the, it's the future. We have to be, there has to be equality in the workplace for all. And it's also an honor to be in the company of the other honorees. Tremendous uh, organizations. It's, it's just it's humbling in some respect just to be part of all this. Well, that's really what it's all about. And I think this is really another year to celebrate how far we've come. I mean, we've made so many strides in the workplace, and it's really incredible. We should be proud. And I think that really when someone sets a standard who's a kind of a prominent company, that kind of sets the tone for other companies to follow and, and, and in a sense transforms the workplace in America. I, I was here last year as well. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, the, the, just the sheer number of, of uh, backers to it are, are evidence for progress, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, I mean, she does an amazing, amazing job of, of uh, I think, 
promoting the cause. My first time here, and I'll tell you, it's a wonderful turnout. You know, you just talk to some of the folks in here and everybody, you know, it, it really is just a, a wonderful opportunity to come by and see what everything is all about, and just how far this, you know, the whole equality thing has come. It's great. My hope ultimately is that someday we don't even need awards for it because everybody's just going to be doing it and it's just going to be a part of how the world is. to see you next year. Bye for now.